what's going on everybody my name is Arun. welcome to my channel and this series is a series of tutorials on linux operating systems and now in this tutorial we will be looking at the ls command in detail now as you, as you might have seen in the previous tutorials uh, ls command is used for listing down all the files and folders in a particular location but um, we just used it in a most generic way possible in fact uh, the ls command actually has <coughs> more functionality to it and that helps us to rearrange the contents, I mean show the contents, the same contents in different different formats. So I thought we'll look into this command a little more detail in this particular video. Okay, so let's get started. So now I'm in my uh, home folder uh, where I have all my files and folder, files over here. And I'm in the same location in the terminal as well as the file manager over here. As you can clearly see from with the visual aid. Now let's list the files. Obviously, ls command will just list them all, list all of them. Now, let's say I want to uh, see these files. Fi I mean, these, see these files and directories in, you uh, know, in, in a column format. What should I do? Well, for that, we can type this command: uh, ls space minus l and press enter. Now you see, uh, the, the, these are the same files and directories that are that are on the top, but they are arranged in a but they are arranged in a list format. All right, and now what this does is that it gives you in the list format, and uh, this hyphen l is a flag, and this uh, l flag is actually called as a long listing format. That's why you get a very long list. And you see there are so many contents and information over here. We'll talk about this information as we go along. For now, just keep in mind that this is the file permissions is file permission string, not the tech, not the proper technical term. Okay, just for now, keep it keep in mind that this string over here tells about the file permissions. This uh, says the number of block size, the amount of blocks the file, the file and the directories of the file takes, and this is the uh, user username, username uh, who is the owner of this file, files uh, files and directories. This is the name of the group to which the user belongs, and this is the time in which the file got, uh, I mean the file got la la accessed for the last time access or modified for the last time all right so the format is the file permissions string the string having file permissions number of blocks the user who owns these uh, files and folders the group to which the user belongs the size uh, the block and the size of the, f the fi folder or the file the time the timestamp and the date and timestamp of the last access or modified and then the file or directory name that's the format you get. This is pretty informative uh, because you get you get the timestamp and all the other information pertaining to the file uh, folders. All right. Now let's go about with another option as well. Now there is uh, another tag called as T, and press press that. Nothing much, but this uh, goes along with L. And if you look at it. Now this will rearrange the contents in the same order, just like L, but there's a difference. If you see uh, that, if you see the recently accessed or recently modified folders get, gets placed on the top, whereas the last modified folders or the least modified are come, they are at the back. So essentially, what this T says is that arrange the folders and you know, arrange the folders based on the recent uh, access. The files and for directories that got recently accessed will be on the top. Those did not, that did not get access much are at the are at the bottom of the list. Cool. Cool. Now uh, you see all this information over here, and now we can do a little more. If I just uh, let me clear this up. All right. So if you just list these files, you the list you'll just get all the files. That's for sure. You think this is the only file that is remaining, all right? But in actuality, it's not. There are more files that are pending or um, available that it's not uh, that easily easy to see right now. That's because there are hidden files here. Just like you have hidden files and folders in Lin Windows, there are hidden files and folders or directories in Linux. To see that, you need this uh, You need this. Uh, flag called as a a stands for all so uh, if i type ls hyphen minus a and press enter there you go you see quite a lot of fi uh, files and folders i mean files and directories are present all right so whichever one has a dot in front of it those are hidden 
whichever ones that does not uh, doesn't have a dot they are actually present and uh, in this color scheming whichever the ones in blue are actually the directories whereas the ones in white are actually your text files all right so i can see all these fi uh, mean the files and directories here but i cannot see them over here well in ubuntu the, if you just press control uh, h you get to see all of them if it uh, if you type control h again you hide them up so to show up all the hidden files just type control h in ubuntu or ubuntu based operating systems you get that and type control h again to hide them back so if i just open them up you see you can bless them you can see all these files and directories just like what you have over here and let's say you want them to be arranged in a proper manner you can just type a l a and there you go you have the you have a similar arrangement like what we had on the top but only thing is even the hidden folders are also hidden files and folders are also mentioned all right so let me clear this up and there are more options as well so if i just type ls minus l uh, and h okay check it out now you see that uh, the f the file sizes over here they are they have a k in front what does this mean is that this h over here this shows the files uh, uh, the sizes of the files in a human readable format earlier if we just type ls minus l you see that this shows the file uh, directory size in bytes so this directory takes 4 kilo uh, 4096 bytes or 4 kilobytes but this number if you just if someone were to just show me just like that it might be a bit confusing or you know you just have to do you have just to do some uh, you know calculations in your head to figure out how big it is on the other hand if you just put h it will give you a it will give you a um, you know a letter at the end and thereby you'll know what it is so if you just say 4.0 k you can rest assured that this is 4 kilobytes in size all right now let me clear this up and now we can use the multiple uh, the flag options together just type minus and then type l h and a any order that doesn't matter so l will give you long listing h will give you human readable format a will show all the files uh, in all even the hidden files and directories on so a presenter there you go sure enough you can see that uh, there are different ones so if they if you just have a plain number it means it's just a, just a text file with Uh, where this in bytes. So this is the this file dot bash underscore history. This is thousand and eight uh, bytes, and bash underscore logout has two hundred and twenty bytes in size. Whereas all the others so far are in kilo four kilobytes. This file over here uh, dot uh, accessions on my hyphen errors. This is two point five kilobytes in size. Like that, if you have a lot of contents in your uh, contents in your operating system, each of them have their own file sizes, as you mentioned over here, as as you can see over here. Cool. And we can also use multiple, uh, even the timestamp uh, together. Presenter. There you go. Now uh, it is listed. It is listed in. Um, it is given in a long listing format, and the files and directories which got modified. modified they are put on the top in the human readable format and even the hidden files and directories are shown all right so this way you can mix and match uh, all these uh, flags and get whatever thing you want whatever kind of arrangement you want all right now not only this there are a few more stuff okay let me clear this up there are more of uh, 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 how do i say flags that are flags or options available in um, ls to see that just type man and type ls this man command stands for manual and if you type manual and then type the command name just and press enter it'll open up the manual page wherein you get to see uh, you get to see uh, all the all the options that are available uh, for the for the any command you see so we just looked at only a few of them that is we saw a we saw uh, what was that We saw L over here. Look, use long listing format. We saw T. We saw T and we saw H. Other than that, there are several other formats available over here that you can use. I'm just going to talk about all of them because this is pretty large in number. I'm just I just talked about only these ones because these are more re pretty relevant. All right. This way, if you are in, if you are in any confusion as to know what exactly is happening, what are the different kinds of uh, flags that are available for any command, this will. This will work just fine. 
Similarly, I can use man and type, uh, let's say, rmdir is the remote directory presenter. This will also give me uh, all the options, uh, all the flags, like it's generally called as options. It'll give me all the options or flags that are uh, pertaining to the command as well, any command as well. It also gives you other information that you can have a look at it if you want. All right. Now, with that being said, uh, that is your quick tutorial on uh, the uh, ls command in detail. Now, uh, with, in the next video, I'll talk about some other interesting command as we go along. I haven't thought about it yet, but it will be good. All right. So that's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.